Hello and welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Binky B and this is a spooky seal or spooky seal or whatever. I did one of those uh, prior to this video last week and I got completely trashed. My pool was one of the worst thing I have ever seen in my entire life with like one playable rare, like two or three playable uncommons and it was not like wow look at this rare it was uh, it's okay so I got trashed in the first round uh, but hey maybe this time it will go better so let's sort by rarity what do we have essence of the wild is uh, not something I would like to play no predator ooze is pretty good in fact it's very very good but it's triple green but we will see Next instant to search a spell, you cast this iron can't be countered by spells or abilities. Alright, well that's a filler. Oh, a cunning wish in foil. Wonder if that's worth anything. So the thing with this is you have to leave at least one good instant in your sideboard. <laughs> which feels kinda bad, but oops, we'll see. Oh hello, here we have a rare. <laughs> Bloodline Keeper, I will be playing black then. Yeah, that's the angel. That's also pretty good. Ancestral Tribute. Uh, I'm not gonna rule it out, but so far it seems like I will be playing black and maybe green or white. We will see. So, to have more Threshold. Okay, it's playable. One to reach for two. Alright, that's not horrible either. Bird of Crows is very good. Uh, that's not very good. Let's put Cunning Wish and Overmaster over there. Make a wish is not good. Oh, Lingering Souls. Alright, so I think I'm, I'm leaning towards Black White. I have to say, Lingering Souls is a fantastic card. Uh, Alright, that's not horrible either, maybe. So there are no cards in my graveyard. Well, it's still a pretty good rate. Diagraph Ghoul is playable. Ooh, Concentrate. Maybe we'll just splash white because this is also a very good card. Milling, don't think so. Discard a card to give this shroud and unblockable. Mm, filler, maybe. Alright, cabal coffers, maybe. And control. Mm, that's not horrible either. Blood feud. I'm not leaning towards red with one decent card at double red, but we will see. Two to flying for four, that can be pumped. That seems very good. And the ghoul is pretty nice too. Alright. I'm not sure. Blue seems to be the deepest so far. We can remove Cunning Wish, I think. So, <coughs> blue and black with a white splash for like Lingering Souls and uh, Angel of Flight Alabaster is not uh, the end of the world. Let's see what we have here. Got a lot of commons. Etherburst. So it's an unsummon. Well, that's playable. Pilgrim is good. Two to fly for four that draws you a card when it dies. Yep. Two to fly for four becomes bigger. Sure, Black Cat is playable, but I would like to not play that. I think we can safely remove the red. <coughs> We're not playing red. Uh, Break of Day is not fantastic. Bump in the Night is not fantastic. It's when it blocks too, and then I don't think it's good. Alright. Shane Flinger. Pinger is 
and it's a pretty good one too. I'm gonna put it there. Shows enough Markov is perfect. Cluster Phobia is very good. Coralette's a perfect sideboard card. No. Yeah, sure. Divination, pretty nice. Festival Boar is okay. I'm still not ruling out green because it, it could be. You never know. Right, disenchant, poor counter spell. No. Geist Flame is good too. North of the Bones is not horrible. Maybe. Halberdier. Uh, not fantastic. Hunger of the Hull Pack is an okay trick. That is good if we play stuff like Bloodline Keeper. Uh, Beetle Recluse is very good. 3 1 Trample that gets regenerate, right? Leaf Dancer. Sure. No. The hard thing is to come clear with what colors you go you're going to play. Alright, pretty bad. That's the cycler. Moon heron is good. Uh, it's okay. Three cards from a graveyard. Alright, it's fine. Phantom Nomad is good. Nope. Ah, uh, filler. No, Sanctuary Cat, I don't think so. No. Just the players, no. What is this? It gets the shade ability and when enchanted creature dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control. So if I put it on my Bloodline Keeper and it dies, I get it back. Maybe. Silver Chase Fox. That's not horrible either, but we'll see. Tap target untap creature control. It's pretty expensive, but you never know. Stitches Apprentice is good. Stormbound Geist is good. I like that. Syncopate is okay. That's also okay. Touch of Invisibility. Mm, seems very expensive. 2 2 for 3. Okay. Well, that's playable. Walking Corpse playable. And I really don't like that newt. Alright, so we have concluded that blue and green are the deepest colors, but black has the strongest card overall. I will not leave Bloodline Keeper in my sideboard. I don't think. Let's try the black. And then I'm pretty sure I will play in blue and maybe Splash, Lingering Souls and Angel. It's by far the best white cards. We will see. Alright, let's move it up here. We can leave it outside. I'm not sure if we're gonna play it at all. Werewolf, Grinder, Chosen. Alright, pretty good. I can bring down Blazing Torch, we'll probably play that. Syncopate can be up here somewhere. Stormbound Geist. And that is only to protect the Bloodline Keeper. What do we have for removal? We have a claustrophobia and a blazing torch. And I guess at the burst. That is not fantastic. <laughs> I have to say, that is pretty horrible. 
we do have a fair amount of good creatures so that's something I guess we can go turn 3 bloodline keeper um, so what does the other colors offer us in form of removal only that spirit flare right and not much else here either overall black is not impressive it's just the bloodline keeper that makes me want to play it but I think it's pretty poor to try to splash black I mean we would splash for lingering souls and bloodline keeper without any fixing besides maybe ghost quarter hmm interesting I guess we have a syncopate too. I will play this and this with like two or three planes. And if I got to cut cards, I'll probably cut shades form. One of those. I'll probably cut Haven Fisher maybe. Have to lower the curve. That will be cut for sure, and probably the black cat, something like this, which is totally acceptable. We have quality creatures, and maybe we don't even need removal. Return target spirit card. We only have Moon Heron, no Storm Moon guys, too. All right. So if we put in white we get more creatures but we lose all the good spells so that's not really an option I don't think. So what does green give us? What's the biggest draw to green? Sadly it's Predator Ooze which we almost can't play. And then there is only creatures. <sighs> yeah I think this is kind of what we need. It would have been nice to have like uh, some kind of prism so that we could play Cunning Wish and wish for whatever. Anything from Ancestral Tribute to Geist Flame. Red does have some decent options too. There is the removal. Can we work that into the deck? How greedy can we be without fixing? Probably not too greedy. We do have two card draw spells, which is close to fixing. There's nothing else here, I don't think. I mean, you could play Ghost Quarter, but I don't want to do that. Scourge the fields, no. Maybe we need to play the Frightful Delusion. No. Yeah, so we have three decent types of removal here and they're all red. But I guess it's not horrible to have just two removal spells. I mean, we will win many w games with our quality creatures instead. Because I don't think there's anything more in white that is that appealing to me. No. And in green, there's just dorks. Big dorks, granted, but I think this is what I want to be playing. Playing the Diagraph Ghoul because it's nice to have a one drop. Uh, decent curve too, I mean, I've seen worse. I think 17 lands is okay. We have zero flashback card. Yeah, yeah we have lingering souls, but it's not uh, an 
expensive flashback. Playing the Hyder Morph Guardian just because of Bloodline Keeper. How many vampires do I have? Can it flip? One. We only have one vampire. It's almost better just to play something else then. Because I will. Yeah, maybe I will flip it. Yeah, okay. The upside, I think, is higher than this. Maybe we want to play the fire instead. One, two, let's see. Treasure 2-2, two, two, but better. A 3-1, also better, I think. Yeah, maybe I want to play the flyer instead. Yeah, I think that's okay. And we have a coral net in the board for red and... Uh, uh, green or white, I mean, green or white decks, which I think is it, it will be our most important cyborg card for sure. We can also bring in Mask of Avacyn if we're facing a removal heavy deck. Don't think this will do anything. Yeah, alright, I think this will be my deck of choice here. I'm just gonna add some lands. Where is it? There. Two planes. For the first thing, I'm gonna play five swamps at least. Maybe even six. Is two planes enough? I think two planes is enough. Hmm, is five swamps enough? I think I want to play six. We have one, two, three double blue spells, four. I think I need to play two planes because of my self milling. Yeah, I'm gonna try it like this. Hopefully, it will be decent. Uh, I'll see you shortly for game one.